Microsoft Copilot is finally here. And in this video, I will demonstrate how you can use it in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, an important note before we get started in this video, I am using Copilot with a Copilot Pro license. Now it isn't drastically different from the Microsoft Copilot for 365 license, but there are some minor limitations with Copilot Pro, and I will be talking about that at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, in order to access Copilot in Microsoft PowerPoint, you want to click on the Home tab. And next, you want to click on the Copilot icon that should be displayed at the end of the ribbon. And this is going to bring up the Copilot interface in Microsoft PowerPoint. Next, I'll do a quick walkthrough of the Copilot interface. Now, first and foremost, at the very bottom here, you have your prompt area, which is where you'll enter the questions that you would like to ask or make the request that you would like Copilot to fulfill. Now you'll also notice here that there are some suggested prompts to help you get started. I'll go ahead and click on create a presentation and you'll notice that it will append that text into the prompt area below. Now you can also configure the Copilot interface layout. Now to do that, you wanna click on the task pane options button here. And you can see here that you can resize the pane itself I'll click on this option and I can just drag to make this a little bit bigger and click once I'm satisfied. And in the task pane options, you'll also notice that you can actually move the Copilot interface by clicking that option and then dragging it wherever you would like it to appear in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I'll go ahead and dock this on the left-hand side of the screen by clicking and releasing. Now, one of the best things about Copilot is that you can create a presentation from nothing more than a few lines of text. Now you can see here that I've entered a prompt that reads, create a new presentation on the future of renewable energy. Next, I'll go ahead and click send. And you can see here that Copilot is working on the response. And you can see here that it has now generated a pretty flashy PowerPoint from nothing more than that preliminary prompt that I entered. Now you can see here it included a title slide. It has included a slide that reads trends in renewable energy, a slide that's titled emerging technologies, challenges in adoption of renewable energy, and a concluding slide. Now you can also use Copilot to add additional slides to your presentation. Now you can see here, I've entered a prompt that reads, add a slide that features a list of countries that produce the most renewable energy. I'll go ahead and click enter. You can see here that Copilot is generating the response. And you can see here that it has added the slide and it's included a list of the top five countries that produce the most renewable energy right at the top. All right, now you can also use Copilot in PowerPoint to update slides that have been created. Now suppose I would like to add a short description for each of the three bullets featured here on this slide. I could simply ask Copilot to update this slide to describe what each of the three bullets are. And you can see here that it added descriptions to each of those three bullets. Now another way that you can use Copilot is to help you organize your presentation. Now what I'll do here is I will just throw these slides in a different order. I'll put the conclusion at the front and I'll mix them up. And you can see here that I've typed a prompt that reads, organize this presentation logically based on the content included. Next, I'll go ahead and click send. So you can see here that it grouped the slides into sections, starting with an agenda and then renewable energy and its future and then challenges and conclusion and it also added some additional slides to illustrate that grouping. Now, one of the use cases that I was really excited about was having Copilot generate speaking notes for presentation slides. Now you can see here, I've asked it to do that in this prompt. Next, I'll click send. And you can see here that it was not able to do that. Now, again, I'm not sure if this is a limitation of Microsoft Copilot Pro or if that feature just hasn't been released at this time. Now, another good use case for Copilot in PowerPoint is generating summaries of PowerPoint presentations. Now you can see here I've entered that prompt. Next, I'll go ahead and click send. And you can see here that it has provided me with a very succinct summary of the key messaging and the key information from this PowerPoint presentation. 
Now, what's really cool about these summaries is that it will even link back to the source content. Now, if I click on the drop down arrow to the right of the word references, you can see here that it has provided some links and I can go ahead and click on this and it's going to bring me into that reference slide so that I can drill down into the background information about this summarized point. Now, there is another nifty feature in Copilot in PowerPoint, and that is Copilot Lab. Now, in order to access Copilot Lab, you want to click on the View Prompt button and you want to click on View More Prompts. This is going to bring up Copilot Lab, which is a repository for prompts that you can use to work with Copilot in PowerPoint. Now, you can see here that you can easily select one of these prompts or you can drill down into the different categories, which include create, ask, edit, and understand. And what's even more useful is that you can actually access Copilot Lab on the web by clicking this button. And that is going to bring you into the Copilot Lab broader repository that's available on the web. And here you can actually view prompts by the different Microsoft 365 apps. Now, if I wanna see suggested prompts for PowerPoint, I can select this and you can see here that the list has updated and I can easily save these prompts so that I can access them directly in Copilot in PowerPoint and use them in the future. All right, now if you're using Copilot in PowerPoint and you have a Microsoft 365 enterprise or business license, then you will also have the ability to create PowerPoint presentations from Word documents. Now to do that, you want to open up your Word document and you want to generate a share link to that document. You can see here, I'm going to copy the link to this report. Now you can see here that I've typed create a presentation from this file. Next, you want to go ahead and paste your file in and then press enter and Microsoft Copilot will leverage the content from your Word doc to actually put together a PowerPoint presentation. Now, it's really important to note that if you have a Copilot Pro license as I do, then you will not have access to this particular feature at the time of recording this video. You can see here that Copilot responded that it cannot do that using this account. All right, now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I was using Microsoft Copilot with a Copilot Pro license. Now the Copilot Pro license is targeted toward individuals who have a Microsoft 365 personal or family subscription. Copilot can be added on to one of those licenses and it allows you to use it in your personal context. Now there are some limitations with Copilot Pro and specifically one of the big ones is that you cannot use Copilot when you have a Copilot Pro license in Microsoft Teams personal. You can indeed use Copilot in PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and even with Microsoft OneNote. Now that differs from Microsoft Copilot for 365, which is targeted towards small, medium, and large businesses. And those licenses allow you to use Copilot across all of the Microsoft 365 apps and services, including Microsoft Loop, Microsoft OneNote, Microsoft Whiteboard, and of course, Microsoft Teams. Now, if you weren't aware, Microsoft actually made Copilot available back in November 2023. And at that time, anyone that was interested in accessing Copilot had to commit to buying 300 licenses. In early 2024, Microsoft did away with that minimum, making Copilot accessible to anybody that wants to use it with no minimum purchase requirement. So that's it. In this video, I demonstrated how you can use Copilot in Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish and be sure to give this video a like. Also, if you found this video helpful, then you might also be interested in one of these tutorials. I'm Louis Ecobalas. I'll see you in the next video.